It's my feel good breakfast show. Um, no, life is really moving at an unbelievable rate when we look at the technology that is coming out. We look at how far we can see into our universe while well, bringing it back down to earth. Um, we know that obviously robotics is moving at an incredible pace at the moment, but of course artificial intelligence hasn't quite caught up yet. So when looking at the latest robotics, now we're seeing scientists approach it from a different angle, half human, half mm. robot. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Robotic human surrogates combine the durability of a machine with the grace and beauty of the human body. With While using machines as surrogates seems like science fiction, researchers across the world are getting closer to realizing this concept in real life. And just with the power of your mind, you can control your surrogate and send it out into the real world. Artificial intelligence in machines hasn't yet been invented, so a compromise for scientists is to create a robot body with the mind of a human. That's where programmers at MIT's Department of Mechanical Engineering come into play. Essentially, they've developed a robot that can be controlled by a human in real time, putting the human's brain into the robot's head. For humanoid robots, or legged robots in general, uh, keeping balance is critical uh, to being able to carry out any task. We've decided to tackle this head-on by feeding the balance sensations uh, of the robot back to the human as forces on his waist. Uh, that way we can take an advantage of the natural reflexes uh, and the learning capability of the human to be able to keep the robot balanced. So we try to give the human as much uh, freedom as possible. So the suit is a full body suit, so the, the human can move all the arms and both legs. And the idea is that the robot is going to follow exactly the same way. We also have a camera in the robot's head, uh, where your head uh, would be. And uh, that vision uh, that the robot sees is fed back to the operator in some vision goggles. When the human wants to do more delicate tasks, uh, things that really require vision uh, and strict positioning, uh, he can use the goggles and do a more uh, precise manipulation with his hands. While these developments for humanoid robots are exciting, others are also experimenting with meshing man and machine. Australian performance artist Stellark has been obsessed with the concept of humanoid robots for decades. Many of his exhibitions involve combining his body with a machine to challenge preconceived notions of what it means to be alive. He has now taken things one step further by growing an artificial ear on his arm. Having conceived the idea almost 20 years ago, it took two surgeries to create the ear using a scaffolding under the skin. The artificial ear now functions like any other part of his body. Stellark is looking for funding to complete the final stage of the Ear on Arm project, which will involve connecting the ear to the internet via a wireless miniature microphone embedded inside, so people will be able to connect to it at any time of the day in order to listen to him. Blurring the line between man and machine, one thing's for sure. Whether it's a human with robot qualities or a machine surrogate, the robot revolution is here. The only question is, how far should we take it?